Here at No Code MBA, we talk about how you can build apps, websites, automations, and more using no code tools. Now, let's say that you follow our courses or our advice and you build a web app. What's the next step? It's to find customers for that web app. And that's what this video is going to focus on. In fact, we're going to talk about four businesses that have been built using no code tools. Cashflow Podcasting, Justin Welsh, Formula Bot, and Scribbly Media. These four distinct businesses. And we're going to talk about how they have acquired customers. We're going to highlight the common threads between these four companies. We're going to talk about how each one has their own way of acquiring customers. I'm going to talk about what we can learn from this and how you can implement what they have done moving forward. Now, if you're new here, this is No Code MBA. We talk about building with no code tools and using AI in businesses. Go to nocode.mba if you want to learn how to use tools such as Bubble, OpenAI, Stripe, Airtable, Zapier, Webflow, etc., through our curated courses. Just go to nocode.mba to learn more about that. Let's briefly talk about what these four businesses are before we talk about how they get customers. So Cashflow Podcasting helps people create their own podcast and runs podcasts for people. Justin Welsh has courses and other items for solopreneurs who want to earn more online. Formula Bot uses AI so that people can convert text into spreadsheet formulas, code, and more. And Scribbly Media is a content marketing agency that helps people produce content online. Now, if you want to learn more about these businesses and go to the case studies in the description because we've made a case study on each of these businesses. Let's start with Cashflow Podcasting. So again, this is a business that helps people launch podcasts and it also helps people run their podcast. When we asked Cashflow Podcasting how they attract customers, this is what they said. Mostly referral and Google. A lot of our current clients and customers refer other folks wanting to launch shows or needing a reliable production team. And in fact, Cashflow Podcasting got started this way. They were working for a different podcast and then suddenly that person referred them to other people. Now, this shows the power of a strong product or service when it comes to referrals. And this is something we're going to see with all of these businesses today, is that if you're doing something right, if you are helping people and people get value from it, then they are going to refer you to other people. So it's about, especially when it comes to referrals, getting that first initial customer or first initial customers and then asking them to refer or doing such a good job that they're just going to refer you to others. Now, the second thing they do is SEO. So they have created many blogs on their website since 2013, and these blogs get picked up by Google. So when people search for things like how to start a podcast, which mic should I use, etc., and other questions that people ask around podcasting, that a certain number of those people are going to find cash flow podcasting. And then once they're on the website, there are different opt-ins and pop-ups, etc., that try and capture leads to say, hey, we can do this for you. So Cashflow Podcasting, a service, has brought in clients through referrals and also Google search. Let's talk about Justin Welsh now. If you are on Twitter or LinkedIn and in the entrepreneurial space, you might have heard of Justin Welsh. And we can see down here it says, join 215,000 plus readers of the Saturday Solopreneur for tips, strategies, etc. So Justin Welsh is using email marketing. Now, this is a little bit of a separate way of attracting customers, but it's part of that lead process. So email lists are super important if you want to retain customers and also have multiple touch points with people who might be interested in what you offer. Now, Justin Welsh has two primary channels, LinkedIn and Twitter. Now, LinkedIn and Twitter can be quite similar in a way because they're similar platforms because a lot of what the platform is about is based on engagement and interaction and they both lend themselves to having a personal brand. When we last spoke to Justin, he said he had grown to over 230,000 followers on LinkedIn. From my research, that's closer to 550,000 now. And he has blown up on Twitter in recent months. And last time we spoke to him as well, he was talking about how he was working on SEO when it came to his website, and that the numbers in terms of email subscribers was 30,000. So we can see just how much he has grown over those years. And I think this just shows that at first you might be growing 
and grown quite quickly, but it can be exponential once you really get some momentum going. So Justin Welsh focuses on LinkedIn, Twitter, and like cash flow podcasting, SEO. Let's move on to FormulaBot now, which is an app that uses AI integrations in order to create formulas and other things based on the text that you give it. And it used to be called Excel Formula Bot because it created Excel formulas based on the text that you gave it, but it's grown into something much bigger than that now. Now, this is an incredible story, especially when we talk about the virality of creating something online. And this is a key quote from David when we asked him about how he attracts customers. Nearly everyone that's heard of the site heard about it on social media. Hundreds of productivity hackers on social media love sharing it with their audience. They like to share it because it's a free tool. And let's be honest, people love free. And after creating it in a weekend, he shared it on Reddit. And then this got reposted and reposted. And he had so many people come into his website. In fact, you should listen to the story in the interview that we did. I'll leave a link in the description. And last time we spoke to David, he says he spends most of his time working on the product. And then he just lets other people talk about the product on social media. And we're seeing this more and more. You've probably seen this on Twitter or X now, where people have threads about this cool new tool. And they love to share new tools, especially if there is a free plan. So Formula Bot has a free plan that you can just go and try out. And at first it was all about that one page, put in a text, get that Excel formula, and it has just grown since then. And then finally, Scribbly Media. Now, this is a content marketing agency that creates content for brands and individuals who want to be more prominent on social media and also on their blog. When we asked Scribbly Media how they attract clients, they talked about how they've had two distinct phases. Firstly, the word of mouth phase. So Danny had already been working as a freelancer and then converted a lot of those clients into the packages offered at Scribbly Media. And then that became referrals, etc. Now the digital growth phase is similar to what we've seen before. A lot of focus on free content, free content on their blog so that people who are searching for things related to what they offer have the potential to find them on their blog and then get converted into leads and then into customers. And then Danny's also been quite active in different communities and also posting in directories. And they said that one directory led to five leads immediately. So let's try and look at some common threads between these companies. So firstly, all built on no code tools that we discussed, but I think what you'll notice is that they all offer something for free, trying out tools for free, writing on Twitter and LinkedIn for free to offer value to people. All of these things, what they're doing is they're offering value to people to say, hey, you can try our products, you can look at our free knowledge, you can get free newsletters, etc. All of these things are saying, this is what we can offer, but there's also a paid option too. Another thing is that people aren't on every social media channel pumping out content all the time. Some people prefer to be on LinkedIn and Twitter. Others prefer to just create stuff on their blog and not be very active on social media. While another tool has been able to ride the wave of people sharing their tool on different social media accounts. But in order to get those clients, to get word of mouth, to get referrals, you're going to have to have a good product. So you're going to have to have something worth sharing, whether that's like a viral tool people are using, whether that's a Twitter post or a blog post. So it's worth looking into these case studies in more depth and then coming up with your own conclusions as well or coming up with your own ideas when it comes to marketing, whatever it is that you are building. So again, I'll leave the link in the description so you can have a look at those case studies. And then if you want to build with no code tools, then go to nocode.mba because we have these curated courses and projects teaching you how to build apps, websites, automations, and more using no code tools such as Bubble, Webflow, Glide, etc. Now, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe, or if you haven't done so already, subscribe, and then like this video if you found it helpful. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.